my channel. I am Stephanie. This is the week eight, February the 21st through the 27th weekly wrap up and sneak peek. I probably look very, very different. Um, yes, I do. I have an eye patch because I'm just jumping right into all of the craziness and madness for the last like two and um, coming up on half weeks. I have had a severe migraine and um, yeah, was dealing with that. Got to the point where um, as you guys know, over on the YouTube channel, I did not put a video out on Thursday, but I did rest up and put, do a live show last night. So, um, super excited for that. We had the uh, Black Author Readathon live show. Please go check that out. If it is processed, I will link it in the cards and most definitely we'll have it down in the description box so you guys can go check out that replay. We talk about all of the authors that uh, we read throughout the month as well as a couple other things that we kind of touch on. But for the most part, go discover some new authors. Let's get into the books that I read last week. Now you have to forgive me because um, I'm like I said, I can only use one eye to uh, see what's going on. So if I fumble around, you know, that's that's the reason. That is the reason. But the books that I started, um, or the books that I read last week, started off with Flashbang, which is a Summit Seduction series or duet book, uh, book number one by Rachel Robinson. The next book that I finished was Geo or Gio, Gio. <laughs> it depends on how you pronounce the name the title from this book. The next book that um, I'm going to talk about is actually a book that I didn't finish, um, but I also started this book a while ago. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out um, of its misery on my Goodreads. So the book is Every Last Breath by Juno Rushton, or Rushton, Rushton, I'm sorry. Then the last book that I finished um, as of Saturday, um, for this week is One Night with Cinderella by Niobia Bryant. I place this in contemporary. I give it 4.5 stars. I give it four Steam fans. I had it as an ARC, I believe, and I also received it in my Harlequin Desire, um, reader subscription and this is a black author i read it for black author readathon and i absolutely loved it loved it loved it loved it so we have monica who works for the crest family and we have gabe who is um one of the sons for the crest family they are a family of chefs that is branching out they have restaurants they have um uh cooking tools and just this global empire. Well, Monica is their live in maid and she, you know, she knows all the little secrets, all the little crepes and crevices. This is obviously the first book in this series by Niobia. And once I finished this story, I reached out to Niobia and was like, please tell me, please, please, please tell me that we're going to get the rest of the books. And um, they may possibly be in the works. And I am super excited about it because Gabe is um, like the third or the fourth in line. And they are all vying for the CEO position because their father is hasn't decided when he's going to retire but he has already announced that he is going to be retiring and the brothers are sort of vying for that spot well monica is an orphan which is why she is with the family and is the maid because she wants to work for herself she's had some bad goes in the past and then some secrets are revealed about her and i really liked the tension um 
that Gabe and Monica end up having during one of their parties. The two of them end up having a uh, encounter and um, then they were just going to leave it at one night. They were going to do the whole Cinderella thing. We're going to have one night and that is it. And lo and behold, there was not just one night because they really had an attraction towards each other. And there was this push and this pull and should we or shouldn't we? Am I good enough? Am I not good enough? And you know, it was just, it was so good. And I can't wait to get to the rest of the family as well. So let's talk. Ooh before I fall over. Um, let's talk about the things that I am currently reading. As of the time of recording, I am still reading The Things We Left Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros, and this has been released. My freaking library was absolutely amazing and came through with the audiobook on Hoopla, and I am loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, by the time of the release of this video. I may or may not already have it done, but I am so enjoying it oh so much. Um, you know, the story revolves around two people. One is the granddaughter of, let's say, um, a well-known author, romance author, and then you have who has passed, but they have one more manuscript that they have to write. And uh, when some outside forces decide that uh, this manuscript needs to get written. Um, she, the great granddaughter is like, mm, no, no, I don't want, I'm the, you know, estate holder for uh, this stuff. And uh, this is not, I, I can't think of the words that I'm supposed to be saying for that. Um, but uh, no, I don't want this to happen. And then they finally give in and then two people are working together and you have this sort of dual timeline going on. So in some ways this could also be considered a historical romance because you're learning about um, one couple through letters and during uh, World War II and um, through the things that they have to go through, but then you are also learning about this contemporary couple that is dissecting that uh, World War II couple and finding the connections and everything like that. And I'm just loving every single moment of it. And uh, I can't wait to read more. So I am also going to be reading on His Six by Rachel Robinson, which is book number two in the um, A Summit uh, Seduction Duet, about, or Seal Seduct. I, oof. A Summit Seduction Seal Duet goodness let's see if I can get that out um and then I will also be reading I think there is another book there is another book um there are some books that were released this week um or the past week that I needed to get to but due to the headache and the migraines and everything like that lack of concentration um being had because of the pressure uh, I wasn't able to get to them but this carousel of arcs uh I will be trying to get to as soon as possible they are on my radar and uh, most quite a few of them have come out on audiobook and uh, I'm so looking forward to being able to consume them even though I can't read them with my eyes I'll be listening to them as audiobooks um, so there is that so that is uh, what I read last week as well as what I am currently reading. Uh, have you heard of any of the books that I just talked about? Uh, let me know down in the comment section. Let's discuss them. Um, if you are a patron, you get to hear those full thoughts. If you are not a patron and you're just watching the sneak peek, uh, please check out the description box if you want to become a patron at the lowest fee of five dollars um, per month, you get all of the wrap ups in full uh, uncut, uncut manner. So you get to hear all of my thoughts on them instead of just a sneak peek. Um, and then with the other tiers, there are other videos and things that uh, come along with that as well. So I think that is it. 
I think that's it. Um, I may be doing things different for the month of March, being that um, concentration and looking at screens and things like that. So it may be a month of uh, lives on YouTube. I'm not exactly sure at this point. Um, how I'm going to do my YouTube videos for the month because usually um, I pre-record them and then edit and then get them out to you guys but um, we will see so there is that as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel also there is a feedback form down in the description box for you guys to help me improve my channel there's also my paypal my ko-fi my patreon link my amazon wish list my amazon storefront if you use either one of those the amazon wish list or the amazon storefront uh if you use the storefront it is just a small little kickback for the things that you buy uh, through the storefront. I have been updating it and putting all of the books that I read for each one of the months or any specialty sort of things because there is a black author readathon um, file or like list. There it is. List that's there. So, you know, go check that out. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching and we will see you in another video.